out there. We just got to find out what internet station is on. You know, I'm talking about. You see some exciting fights. Our last fight against um, Canadian Canada, she uh, dropped a girl in the first round, and it was, uh, you know, as a father watching his daughter mature in the ring as much as she matured, you know, it's like a plus. You couldn't offer me any money. Just let me see this. You know, it was so, so thrilling. Question? Yeah. What, what is your advice to any young person that wants to be in the boxing field? She can answer that one. Are you, you want to do it? You think <laughs> about it? It's, it's interesting. You gotta be hungry for it. Like you can start. I started off. I just wanted to do it as put it on my resume. Win the Golden Gloves. Oh, from your resume, you know, it's good. Like yeah. when you accomplish things like this, you can put it on your resume, and jobs will get you more. But as the more you get into it, you gotta want it. Like I eat, sleep, dream, because I'm I'm more into it. But when you start, start off slow. See how you really like it, and then if you really like it, then you start off the basics. You gotta run every day. Every day from my one position, okay. So, but like I said, in the beginning, SLB, yeah, you know, yeah. one of the better than what I've for years. Yeah. yeah, you might not in the beginning feel for it. I didn't feel for it like that in the beginning. Now, look at me now. I'm on an Olympic team. Yeah. I'm the first girl to ever do this in yeah. Westchester. I might, I'm gonna be the first heavyweight in the world in USA to win gold medal for worlds. So, and then I think I'm the first female to get ranked top five from the USA. Yeah. So, yeah. From USA to top five from America. This this right here is called. You ever see going to a boxing gym and you see a heavy bag standing, a lot of heavy bag. This is a moving heavy bag. You know, you get a hell of a workout with it too. So that mean that I'm standing there and she's punching with all her might. You know, so as a trainer, I'm judging the power she have and she have the power. To put, now, let, let me explain something to you. Boxing is not a brutal sport. Anybody here play chess? Yeah. Boxing is just like chess. It's a thinking sport. It's really outmaneuvering another person. You see two guys. Now, cage fighting and boxing is two, totally two different things. Cage fighting and you're in a cage. When you go in there, you bite, you scratch, your knee. Not taking anything from the sport, but it's like street fighting. Boxing is scientific. You train, you go to a training camp, you get fully, you get in very good condition, you get in the ring with another human being and you try to figure him out. His weak spots and you got like a half an hour or 20 minutes to figure this man out. You know, either he's gonna win or you're gonna win. And it's so hard to make that kind of adjustment in the ring to figure somebody out, you know, so. Don't think that it's a brutal sport, because it's not. It's very disciplined, it's morals, it's values. Now, I want to ask one question and I'm going to let my daughter talk the rest of the way. If you can answer it, just raise your hand. Why do young kids, it's a tricky one, why do young kids like to fight all the time? Young men, why do you like to fight all the time? If you can answer it, if you guys got an answer for it, raise your hand. Why do young men like to fight all the time? Can anybody just guess? Go, come on. Just, just knowing that you can beat someone else gives you a self-accomplishment, makes you feel better. That's a good answer. Anybody else? Young kids, young, young men like to fight all the time. You know why? Because you don't know how. Once you learn how, and you know that you can hurt somebody, you don't want to fight. Why would you want to hurt somebody when you know you have the advantage to hurt them? You know, so if somebody step on my shoe, guess what? I'm telling them, excuse me. Can I have a and they stepped on my shoe. So so it, it's, it's discipline that you're being learned. You know, and you can get along better with your fellow men, with your um, fellow men, other men, people around you. So, so don't think that it's a brutal sport because it's not. And this bag right here, I really hate because she hit so hard. I got to walk around and let her beat me up. And I said, well, you feel good beating your father up, huh? <laughs> Any more questions? Please direct them to Crystal. Yes, okay. So Crystal, you took uh, this economics class in this classroom. Not
not that long ago. What do you remember from economics here at Nourishville High School? Um, it actually helped me to, when I go to job interviews, I give firm handshakes now. A lot of people say that uh, a boxers don't give firm handshakes, but I'm the first boxer to ever give a firm, tight grip handshake. And that lets you know what type of person you are and lets the person know how serious you are about just when you meet them or job interview or anything. I also learned from my job interviews who told me when I go in, always wear a watch. <laughs> that lets you know that you're good with time and they like people who are good with time. So ever since I took this class, I've got multiple jobs and I stuck with it for a long period of time. And it's because of him, he helped me out with a lot of stuff. So to this day, I still give firm, firm handshakes. So it's a, what else I like? Oh, stocks, I still have my stocks. I still have my stocks on Google. Um, I can't remember anything else. I, I remember stuff, but, but I remember most of the important things, like how do you speak to a person, you look them directly in the eye, you know, and try not to, I do a lot of hand movements still, but when a job interview comes or when I'm really serious with a person, I try not to do all this and all that, and ah, 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 no, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. But if you haven't learned that yet from him, he's gonna teach you all that, the watch, firm handshake, eye coordinates, like looking the person dead in the eye, make sure you dress properly, even if you don't have the proper clothes to try to at least put some together to look decent when you go to your job interview or anywhere to let a person know how serious you really are. And um, yeah. Now, now Granny, I don't give, I don't give firm handshakes. I'm old school. I barely, I barely, if you want to shake my hand, that's how I shake my hand. Yeah. You want to demonstrate is a grown man here. We, we man, first time meeting. That's how I shake my hand. Now, that, I wasn't taught that in the ring. I was taught that by my father. You know, a handshake is a, is a gesture of affection. You know, that I'm not here to be your enemy. Now, if I walk up to you and, hey, what's going on? You look intimidated of me, would you? But if I just lay my hand out, and so you grab, you know, test it real softly, you know, there's no threat at all. That's not how you think. And we you, could debate about this. When you shake, you have to step in and have a firm handshake. Yes. See? See, but mine wasn't firm. No! <laughs> Any other and the questions? majority of boxes, nine out of ten fighters, nine out of ten fighters will not squeeze your hand. That's how you know they're, they're boxes. Because the most delicate thing on a fighter's body is their hand. Once their hand go, they're not a fighter anymore. You know, you can hurt your toe, your knee, you know, your shoulder. You can always come back, but once you hurt your hands, it's over. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Go ahead. What do you like to do before you take pictures? Do you eat your healthy food? I pray. I meditate to myself. I listen to gospel. Mm -hmm. And I fast. I try not to eat meat. I try to eat straight pasta or certain things. If I eat meat, I only have to eat meat once a day. Once a day. And that's chicken, fish, whatever. I have to do it one time a day. So I try to fast. I try to pray. I try to get in my zone. I try to work, write quotes. I write quotes every day and post it up on my bathroom wall or near my toilet or whatever. Or I, I write quotes and it gets me motivated. I listen to motivational speeches. And I start doing that. I, I read my uh, Promise Bible to help me write down quotes. I give, and she's on the track team, so she would know. I give out motivational speeches all the time to her. So, yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. Uh, what, do you, what do you think that the DM can be considered bad for? It's uh, 14. Oh, 14. Younger. Younger. I, I, I'll oh, they start at 8. They yeah. start at 8. Start with your eyes. You look, and, and if you like something, then as you get older, you know. <laughs> You, you go into that sport. But I always uh, like to start them off as young as eight to 12 years old, just to get their attention. Because it's hard to, five-year-old kids, it's hard to keep your attention span because they're wiry, they're jumping all over. I know you gotta go, Graham. Well, it's, uh, they have to go to the next class. I wanna thank you, uh, Crystal. Best of luck in Korea, Mr. Vicky. Thank you.